on, I had to, I noticed that my car is making noise. So usually uh, I'm not good in mechanics on my car. So what I do, I take advices from my friends and my friends are giving me advice. And I had to say that the wheels are making noise. So the wheels need, so the car, so the car needed to go for a, a What it showed is that my front tires are worn out. So basically the decision is I have to change it for the safety and for the safety of myself for the car and for the safety to be on the road, I had to change it. There was no if, buts, questions about it. I needed to change, I had to change the tires in the car. Now we're safe, good, happy. Test number two. It was COVID-19 test. I actually waited for this test to be to for a purpose. The purpose was that I had to wait for a group number two from our office to take the team. Um, I would encourage everyone to take them for a COVID-19 test. Amazingly, in Abu Dhabi, there's national screening program, which is amazing in itself and this test was done in Musafa together with my team group number two uh, the group number one already went so we had a group number two with my staff around um, 25 to 30 people I had to take them to Musafa together in a bus what was interesting observation about the test usually people are very worried uh, number two um, because the they health tests are usually unspoken anxiety. So a lot of people um, feel either shy, either don't want to feel comfortable to go and do the testing. The test was amazing. Uh, we finished it within three minutes. The test had um, two ways. So one is the swap and the other one is triage. Triage. Triage is a process of identifying the priority of patient's treatment by the severity with or without treatment. This is the method usually is efficient when resources are not enough and patients are treated to be whether it is immediate treatment or not immediate treatment. Nasal swab test. Nasal swab test is a sample taken from the nose to detect viral RNR. This determines if you currently have COVID-19 or not. <laughs> test to measure your oxygen level is used by pulse oximetry. Pulse oximetry is a simple test which uses a sensor placed on your fingertips. This test can be done as a one-off spot measurement. Oftentimes, oxygen is carried around in your red blood cells by a molecule called hemoglobin. Pulse oximetry measures how much oxygen the hemoglobin is in your blood is carrying. The oxygen saturation, N, is a percentage usually scored out of 100%. When it showed percentage of oxygen in your blood for someone who is healthy, the normal blood oxygen saturation level will be around 95 to 100%. If oxygen level is below, it can be indicated that there is a lung problem.
In summary, to look at the big picture, the National Screening Project in Abu Dhabi is an excellent initiative. As I mentioned, it is a great when you see volunteers around and it's also great when the helpers around. I call them helpers. What they do, they guide through the personnel and they guide the queue. They guide the females and males through the queue and the waiting time can be very fast and sufficient. Also, in my observation, the amount of male to female ratio was a bit low. So I encourage females also to go for testing. In Abu Dhabi, they are convenient and they are almost all over. I went with my staff to encourage them to be with them on during the testing for COVID-19. I think it's a great motivation for everyone and everyone can take their staff and they can walk the walk to make the process of COVID-19 testing is much easier and smooth. okay to go through the testing it is for safety it is for your own safety prophylactics that you have to know and number two is for safety of others it is similar like to the car you know you have to change the tires because it's first for your safety and second for the safety of all others on the road thank you <laughs>